Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you and teach you step by step how you can use monday.com for startups. The first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in workspace, you want to click on add and then click choose from template. Now here you're going to find and work management and templates and you're going to find startups. Click on that. Now here you're going to have option to choose between these templates in a startup. So first thing you see campaign planning, product marketing launch. Finance habit tracker, event management, post event opportunities, high level marketing budget, single project or A-B testing planning. We can go with a single project and also campaign planning or you can go in with product marketing launch. So I'm going to show these three templates. First I'm going to click on a single project and I'm going to show you what you can get there. You can click with me, of course you can delete the template anytime you want. So here we are, what we can actually find. In our single project, we're going to see the planning here. So let's say this is something that we want to do. And we see that we can change the status from done, stuck, working on it, future steps, on hold, or you can edit the labels and you can add a new label. Then you're going to find also the timeline when it's actually happening by clicking on it. You can have like click here and here, and then you can like see it's changed duration dependent on so if you're going to have the tasks uh one two three if it's actually like the the task two is dependent on task one planned effort again effort spent you just edit here completion date completion status done on time done on time or no or done late and this is just a formula so that's great that you're going to have like automatic formula. This is the planning. Then you're going to have also the execution. And again, you can have different status here. Uh, then you're going to see the timeline duration dependent on and really similar. And the launch is the last thing here. So That's how we do it. The de next thing is task assigned to me and project dashboard. So if you're gonna have some tasks assigned to you in the project, you would find it right here. Then you're gonna find also the project dashboard uh, where you're gonna find the workload. If you're gonna have multiple people, task progress and task completion status. So that's how we do it. Now, this is the first one, the simple, single project, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to understand. Then if I'm going to click add here and I'm going to choose from template and I would click product marketing launch. And let's see what we can find there. Like it really depends. Maybe you need something for marketing for social media planning or content management planning. Uh, it really depends what kind of business you have as a startup. So right here, what we can find. So this is marketing launch plan and we have the groups here. We have the group of pre-launch. Again, timeline, asset file, the priorities, the goal here. Then we see the launch. And then post launch, test campaign, campaign target analysis. So backlog. So these, these are the four groups that you have with same timelines, statuses, priorities. Then you get also the source and channel on the right side and audience. And you can always like create a new label and edit here and source and channel. Then you're going to see the budget per channel. This is something that we can find. Let's see here budget and you're always going to see the channel here and in budget you're going to find it all. Gen view in Gen view you would find it as like a timeline of what is happening. And then Kanban view. Kanban view is actually like what needs to be done, what needs to be finished. Let's say I'm going to have it as a priority and you can like fill and do all this, which needs to be uh, the high, right? Uh, 
So, and that's pretty much it how you do it, right? So when someone is stuck here, I can easily take it, work on it and done. Then campaign planning and status. Here uh, you're gonna have in like new campaigns. Then you're gonna have also the proof campaigns here. So let's say this would be uh, for email. MailChimp as you can see the channel or it can be Instagram. Target audience, campaign timeline. And you go like links to campaign, click CTR. You can fill everything here. So this is pretty good. So then you're gonna see also the scheduled here. This is also really similar. And then you see live here and complete it and post. So again, I can easily like right here and let's say email campaign about relationships and I can have channel let's say it's going to be MailChimp you're always going to find like sub items here and then I can have the brief here the campaign timeline see the budget that I can edit link to campaign reach impression click CTR so that's pretty much it how we can do it and how we can work with it and then uh, you can have the scheduled here now if you're gonna have the team workload right when you would click on the top you're gonna find also the Gantt view the files view the budget per channel and conversion funnel so also what you can do and this is pretty much it right so when I click add here I can choose from template and I can again click startup and we had uh, campaign what we had product marketing launch single project and you can also choose the like the campaign planning and I want to also show you that and that will be all so again here you see the new campaigns and you see the best cycling trails and again this is really similar like you see the in progress scheduled live complete post it's really similar what we found a campaign planning product marketing launch so this just like re really depends if you like this one or that one here you're gonna find the estimated budget budget spent target audience camping goal then you're gonna find also the calendar view here the final review again campaign overview so that's pretty much it and this is pretty much it how you can use the monday.com for startups this is like introduction to templates if you're gonna have like specific case for startup let's say medical or something i can create a tutorial on that too but this really depends in what kind of field you are so if you like let's say focusing on email marketing only you're really gonna find using the campaign planning or if you can have just like one product you want to create something the single project can be really effective for it or even the product marketing launch can be really good for that too and this is pretty much it how you can use the templates for startups in monday.com so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you're going to have a great day and yeah see ya